Hi, I'm from Electro Music Machines and I'm here to show you the Mono Machine. The Mono Machine is a six-track digital synthesizer featuring various synthesis methods like FM synthesis, wavetable synthesis, speech synthesis and analog modeling. When you combine these synthesis methods with the sequencer and the FX, the sound palette is near limitless. The Mono Machine is a very unique sounding synthesizer. This is due to the various synthesis methods it houses in, in this box. In this track here, I'm using the digital wavetable. And by parameter locking the filter settings for each of the steps, you can get interesting results. So now I can switch to the next track and add some maybe kicks to this. With the parameter locks, I can also change the kick sound into a snare sound if I wanted to. Now I can switch to the third track and maybe add like an arpeggiator. I've already programmed an arpeggiator here. And I can hit real time record and then place a note at the beginning of the sequence. Each of the six tracks has got effects and these effects are individual for each track so you have six delay engines, six parametric equalizers and six sample rate reducers. This is the delay unit, it's a very nice tape effect on it as well. Each track has got three LFOs and now I'll start playing around with them. You also have a drum machine where it's like a digital wavetable drum machine and I'll load that in and put some steps real time with the real time record function. And also I can go into real-time record and record some parameter changes on the fly. So the, on the panel I have six track buttons here and each of these tracks can either host a machine which can be a synthesizer sound or an effect unit, which can act as a sand unit. And each of the tracks have got various editing pages. I have a synthesis, amplification, filter, effects, and three LFO pages. The knobs here edit the page that I am on. So I can let you show how these sounds change. Now I can go onto the filter and change the filter settings. I can go into the FX and maybe add more delay. You also have a parametric equalizer. We have a sample rate reducer. And you also have three LFOs where you can assign it to any of the parameters that I've shown you. So each of the six tracks offers you three LFOs, a delay engine, a parametric equalizer, sample rate reduction, a multi-mode filter, and a synthesis type. So this is very powerful and each of the tracks also offers you um, an arpeggiator. And each of the arpeggiators can have different lengths and different offset settings. You can get very intricate 
melodies just by messing around with the sequencer. And you can also change the speed to make it like maybe video game sound as well. On the panel here you have bank buttons where you can change your patterns which you want to play. And the pattern changes instant. I will show it to you now. So I can cue the next pattern to be played and as you can hear the change is instant. With this feature live performances will be very easy to achieve because you can change all your track settings, your kit settings, your effects, basically anything by switching to a next pattern. And as you can hear, the change is instant. And you also have a song mode where you can arrange a list of your patterns to be played back in a certain order. By pressing this button, I enter the MIDI mode. In this mode, I have six tracks of MIDI sequencing to control my external gear. Each of the tracks offers four MIDI CC parameters to control your external gear parameters, an arpeggiator, and also these six MIDI tracks run simultaneously with the internal tracks. The sequencer here is vital for creating your patterns, and there's also a special feature called parameter locks. But basically, a parameter lock means that a note can have different parameter settings just for that step and I will show you how this works now. As you can hear, I'm assigning different filter values and different waveforms to each of the steps. By using this feature, you can create interesting and organic patterns pretty easily. On the back of the mono machine you have headphones output, main outputs, four assignable outputs and two external inputs which can be used for filtering and affecting incoming audio and also you have MIDI in, out and through. Now to finish off our presentation of the mono machine, I've brought its fans. We have the SID station, which is controlled by the mono machine, and also the output of the SID station goes through the mono machine, where I can add reverb and filters, which you will hear right now. And on top of that, the octa track takes care of the rhythms, and also the mono machine output goes through the octa track, where I can add various stuff to it as well. Enjoy!
Thank you.